Today, I'm going to show you how to use Bolt DIY, which is a free version of Bolt.new, along with Claude 3.7 Sonnet to use one of the most powerful coding tools in the world with one of the most powerful APIs in the world. I'll also show you how to do this stuff for free as well if you just want a free alternative. Plus, when you set up Bolt DIY, which we'll run through in a second, this is completely free to set up and pretty simple if you follow the instructions. So we're going to get straight into this. The first place you want to start is inside GitHub. And I'll show you how to build tools, apps, websites, games, etc., landing pages using this process. But you want to go to GitHub for Bolt DIY. This is the first place you want to start. And then from here, the way that I usually figure this out in terms of how to set it up inside Terminal is you just go down here and you can do a direct installation like you can see and just follow the step-by-step -step instructions. So let's get started with that. And you can see that's now loaded up. If you're not sure what the instructions are, we'll include an SAP inside the AI Profit Boardroom. But essentially, I just copied and pasted each step of this into the terminal. Hit enter, then do the next one, then do the next one, etc. It's really simple and easy to do. And then once you've got that set up, you're going to run dev. So PMPM run dev. This will run the commanded terminal, give you a local address that you can connect with. So you can see here we've got the local address. Let's grab that. And now we're rocking and rolling, my friends. And this is completely free to use inside Bolt DIY. Whereas, for example, if you're using Bolt.new, there's usually a subscription price. So, you know, just by switching to Bolt DIY, you can run it locally, which is great because then you can save the projects, go back on the chat. But number two, you can build out projects for free without any sort of limits on tokens, right? Unlike Bolt.new, where you're going to be paying. So if we go over to Bolt DIY over here, inside the drop down, I like to use Open Router. And inside the drop down, you can just scroll to the Anthropic section and then you can select any of these APIs. You actually got three different options for using Claude 3.7 Sonnet. And you might wonder why. Well, there are different versions of Claude 3.7 Sonnet, right? So inside Claude AI, the free version of this, you can select between extended and normal, right? Inside the thinking mode. So it's similar to Bolt where you can switch between Claude 3.7 Sonnet or Claude 3.7 Thinking Mode, right? I'm just going to use this for the sake of that. And then if you want to get an API key for Open Router, then you can click on Get API Key over here. That's going to take you directly to the API key section. And then you can just create a key. Just make sure you've signed up to OpenRouter.ai once you've done this. So I'm just going to go ahead. And then once you've done that, just like I've done right here, then we're going to go over to Open Router, Anthropic 3.7 Thinking. The reason I want to use thinking is because I want to get better outputs from the codes and the applications that I create. And then we're going to paste in the API key here. Once we've done that, we can start going off and coding. Now I've actually created a bunch of prompts and tools and different stuff that I want to create using prompt forge, which is a custom GPT. I'll include that inside the SAP from today. If you want to get similar sort of prompts, so it can just personalize all the prompts that we create based on our niche, what we want to create how we want to create it, etc. So for example, I'm going to create a job board now and we're going to go over to Bolt, like you can see, paste in this prompt. You can also improve that even more. So you can click on the AI option here and that will improve the prompt even more. But we're just going to stick with this for now. Hit enter like so. And that's going to go off and start coding for us. Now, depending on whether you selected the thinking mode of Claw 3.7 Sonnet or the normal mode, that will impact the speed at which it replies, right? The other thing to note here is that if you want to do all of this for free, then there is a bunch of free APIs here, right? So you can see, for example, Google Flash 2.0 Experimental is completely free to use from Open Router, Experimental 1206. These are some of the best models in the world, by the way, for AI encoding. You've also got Mistral, which is also free. And there's even some versions of DeepSeek, like DeepSeek R1 that you can use for free too. So we'll wait for that to load now. And I've also, in the meantime, whilst that's loading, because it does take quite a while, we're going to switch to the normal version of Claude 3.7 Sonnet, like you can see right here. So you can have multiple tabs coding at the same time. So this is the thinking mode with the job board that we're creating. And then on this side, we have an audit checklist. So I've said, develop an interactive SEO audit checklist where it uses check off completed tasks, such as optimizing title tags, fixing broken links and improving page and improving page speed. And then you can see this is coded. Now, the normal version of Claude 3.7 Sonnet API, as you can imagine, because it requires less thinking and reasoning, 
is going to be a lot faster, but I can imagine that the outputs are not quite as good because of that reason too. So it's pros and cons, depends what you're comfortable with. As you can see, it's coding it out and you can have multiple tabs and multiple different APIs coding at the same time as well, which is great because, you know, it takes a while for this code to come out. And so if you can build different projects at the same time, that's going to make it way easier. And you can see, for example, this is already finished coding way before this one has. And if we have a look here, this is working really nicely. We can also refresh the preview if you want to refresh it and we can switch between responsive and non-responsive. So you can see how it works as an app on mobile too. It's looking pretty good. Let's switch back to the normal mode. We can also go full screen so we can preview it full screen. Like you can see, we can tick stuff off. We can download the report as we go along. And then also you can see here, like there's a progress bar. So if we click on optimize page speed, mobile friendly design, etc., the progress bar begins to be completed. And so this is like a super powerful app. We just automated in one single prompt. We told it exactly what to do. And because Claude 3.7 Sonic is so powerful, it's one of the first APIs I found that truly does do the job first time around. Whereas for example, if you're using something like maybe Grok or for example, ChatGPT, these APIs are great, but they do break they do require a lot more back and forth. It doesn't get things right first time around, especially with more complex prompts like you can see right here. So it's super powerful. And also if you want to get this hosted, then what you can do here is inside the code section, so you switch from preview to code. From here, you can click on download code. That's going to download it as a zip file, which will open up as a folder. And if you want to host this, we can go to Netlify, not Netflix, add a new site, Important an existing project, try and notify drop, and then just grab that folder and switch over there to get it hosted, right? That's going to actually host the project on a test domain. Like you can see, it's fully deployed and we're good to go on that. Now you can see we've got the website and the app deployed directly on the test domain. If we want to get that on a custom domain, then we can click on add domain over here, buy a new domain. We can call this, for example, goldieagencyseoaudit.com hit search if it's available we can buy it we also get a bunch of alternative domains here so for example like this one could be good as well or dot agency and if we hit buy that's actually going to that's actually going to deploy the project to a custom domain so super powerful stuff can't believe it worked first time it genuinely does do a great job and it's one of the only APIs that's good enough to do that. And that's without even using the thinking mode. Now what we can do is we can just open up a bunch of tabs and we can just code multiple projects at the same time. And if you want to keep an eye on like how much you're spending on the API, again, you can get those free APIs, which makes this whole thing free. But if you want to get the API usage and figure out, okay, how much you spend in, just go to activity over here and you can see what the cost is you spent, right? So for example, that app that we just generated with Anthropic, it costs us like 11 cents to build an app that's good to go. So it's pretty crazy. So let's get some of these prompts and we'll just start plugging these in as you can see and just code like multiple apps and tools and stuff at the same time. Living the dream, bit of multitasking, why not? And if you ever want to go back to any of your projects, you can just click on the chat on the left hand side. And then for example, you can switch between all the projects, right? So you can see what's going on, how they're going. Let's go back to the interactive SEO audit checklist. We can load up the project that we created before. That's good to go. We've got the preview good to go. And, you know, if you want to reset the page as well, just click on reset. Uh, you can also go through the last site like, 30 days as well. So if we scroll down here, we can see like all the progress from November, December, etc. So any sort of projects you build, you can come back to. And you can easily just download the code whenever you need it. So super powerful stuff. It does remember a lot of good stuff. And then inside the settings here as well, you can export all the chats if you want to. You can select which providers you want to use. You can even use Olama locally too. If you're using something like DeepSeek or Mistral, you can connect it to your GitHub. So you can actually publish directly to GitHub if you want to. And there's also a bunch of like cool features here. Like for example, you can see auto select code template, user main branch, context, optimization, really, really cool stuff. We've also got a prompt library, so you can get an optimized prompt library, which is pretty cool too. Here's another example. So we created this quiz challenge, just said, create a fun SEO quiz game using HTML, CSS, etc. And then if we start the quiz, it's working beautifully. 
you know, you can go back and forth in the chat as well and change the colors and all that sort of thing. Or if you have any problems in the preview, you know, you can take a screenshot, upload it and ask it, you know, how to basically, by the way, I'm just clicking random buttons. I know the answers to this stuff. Don't worry. You can go back and forth in the chat. You can test it out in the preview. You can download it. You can publish it to GitHub. And yeah, it's really easy to create all sorts of cool stuff. So let's try a few more out now. If you click on this button as well, it will take you to the mobile version of this as well. So you can just test it out here. It's also got a timer, which is pretty cool. We didn't even ask it to do that, but it did it. And it turns it into a fun game and probably better than most apps out there. Let's be honest. Next up, we've got the SEO pricing. Again, this worked for first time, right? It's working perfectly every time. I've never really seen Bolt do it that well. You can switch between different functions on the calculator. It's quite a complex calculator as well. That's really well thought out. Like usually if you ask it to create a SEO pricing calculator using a different API on the AI, it just doesn't work that well. So this is really cool. Then you can request a quote, put in the details here for the lead gen. That's like quite a cool sort of lead gen method that, you know, you could customize and personalize to any industry that you're in. It doesn't have to be for SEO. So yeah, really cool stuff. We switch on the chat here. So we've got the SEO pricing calculator the SEO quiz game we built previously as well. When you open up the chat, you can just switch between them and then it will open up the preview again, like you can see. Let's have a look as well. So we created the interactive audit checklist for SEO. I mean, the fact that you can build out these apps and these tools and games so quickly, is just absolutely unbelievable. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to the instructions for setting all of this up, if you want to get access to my free custom GPT, that actually creates prompts and ideas for you, personalize your industry. This is all inside the AI Profit Boardroom, along with the SAP on how to set up Bold DIY and all the prompts from today. So if you just go to the SAP section inside the AI Profit Boardroom, link in the comments description, scroll down to Claude 3.7 plus Bold DIY, you'll get access to everything along with my best SAPs for AI agents, social media and video automation, email and content automation, web automation and scraping. Pretty much everything you can imagine when it comes to AI is inside here, along with a crash course. On top of that, there's an awesome community with 226 members like you see right here. So you can ask any questions in the community and get your questions answered. On top of that, you also get weekly Q&A calls with me. And if you can't make them, it's OK because you can DM us with any questions and you can also watch back the Q&A call recording. So that's inside the AI Profit Boardroom, link in the comments in the description. And also, if you want a free SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars on, in sales on autopilot, feel free to get that on this free link building acceleration session. You get a free SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of SEO link building, answer any questions you have, you learn the best link building strategy for your website. This is all based on what's working for us and our happy clients, like you can see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments in the description. Appreciate you watching. Bye bye.